happy they go, are healthier, they live longer, higher quality lives, they enjoy better relationships, love the work they do, and experience a greater overall satisfaction in life. Hi, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman. I'm very glad you joined us here today for our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. You see, this is a community of like-minded people who are very spiritual. But it doesn't matter what religion or no religion you observe because religion and spirituality are two different things. And we begin every week with a happy share. And if you go on up there, you'll see exactly why a happy share is important, what it will do to change your world, and how to create the habit of happiness. So my happy share this week is it's been nearly two years since the tumor uh, brain surgery happened. And just now I'm able to, sometimes, which is better than no times, I can sit up and lie down without having to do it holding my head. That's pretty darn exciting for me. Why do you want to be happy? Consider the alternative. Why do you want to receive as well as give to others? Live in life in this truth. We're all really sisters and brothers. You are a spiritual being. Get that clarity and you'll be seeing. You are whole and perfect in reality. What you want, you can achieve. In your heart, you know that's true. You came here to first love you. When you're the best you you can be, you see you're part of humanity, serving your community, creating a world of love. Love is a solution to any ill. Love keeps you going when life carries you into the still of the night. Take flight not from fear but toward endless possibilities. Empower your strengths not your frailties. Where you focus you grow. So choose happiness for your success now. Happiness is a start not the end goal. Happiness is a lifestyle, not isolated humans. It's important to receive and not just give. They go hand in hand. And for more details, watch a speech on that topic right up there in that video. Now, the truth is we are all one. We are all sisters and brothers. And in fact, we're all spiritual beings, living human experiences. Which means our soul is whole and perfect in every moment. Appearances, we might not look whole and perfect. We might not feel happy. We might have physical ailments or maladies. But they never touch our soul, our deep spirit. And if you ask me, I'll tell you how I know that for a fact. So it's important to fully live your life, to love yourself. First, it's not selfish, it's mandatory. You have to be the best you you can be to put out that vibration of love, of happiness, of feeling good, and to raise your own vibration up here where everything that you want exists. Because you can only attract what's in harmony with your own vibration. And you see, when you are the best you, you realize you're part of humanity, you live in the community being of service. Give first, don't wait for the other person. Human nature says, let's reciprocate. You'll get back. 
But somebody's got to take the first step and come from your heart. Give because you want to. Never because you have an agenda of what you're going to get back. Always come from a place of love. Love is the highest vibration. Love is the single solution to all ills on earth. So let's get together and create a universe where we serve one another. Not a universe of greed and competition, but of sharing, of caring. Take flight, not from fear, not from what you don't want, but always toward your endless possibilities. That's what you want. Empower your strengths. How the heck could it help you to work on building your weaknesses or your frailties? Duh! If there's something you're not good at, find somebody else who is. We each have our own talents, our own strengths. Do what you're good at and let somebody else do the other things. See, whatever you focus on is going to grow bigger and bigger in your life. Then why wouldn't you choose happiness? Because happiness is the first step to success. It's not the end goal. And it's not a bunch of events. Happiness is a lifestyle. If you're on the ministry page, you look up there, you'll see a page called Only in a Space For. What is it, not currently in your life, that you'd like to have in your life? Well, it could be a new apartment, a new job, a new relationship. Maybe it's finding the book you've been looking for that's been out of print for years. I don't know what it is. But if there's something for you, let us know down there. And then I'll put it up there on the Hold the Space For page. Come back at least once a week. But you gotta tell everybody you know to do it too. Just read the names of every person there and what they asked for. The universe knows who they are. You don't need to. That'll make your thought form coming from you bigger and bigger depending on how many people are holding you in that space, seeing you living it. If you haven't done so already, going over there and give me your name and email address I will send you a copy of how to take your first steps on your spiritual path I'm so glad you came by and I really appreciate please click like and share because I started this online community because where I lived I couldn't find anybody whose spiritual beliefs matched mine so this way, I can reach you wherever you are in your world and at your convenience. I wish you a week filled with many blessings and definitely creating love for yourself and happiness in your life. Blessings.